So I saw Long Legs a few days ago, and it is the first horror film in years where I felt compelled to write a review about it. I have felt underwhelmed by many of the so-called critically acclaimed horror movies that have released these last few years. I thought Barbarian was okay at best, and while I did enjoy Skinnamarink, holy shit, it did not need to be that fucking long. I can't show footage here of Skinnamarink, as doing so will result in my video being demonetized. So instead, I will recreate the majority of what happens in the film myself in a 20 second video. I think that's upstairs. I know you think I'm taking the piss right now, hand to god, that's what 90% of the film is like. However, after seeing Long Legs, I'm genuinely shocked that a modern horror film has not only met my expectations, but exceeded them. Long Legs is unlike any horror film I've seen, and goes in some wild and totally unpredictable directions by the end. When I first saw the trailer for the film, I just rolled my eyes and thought to myself, Okay, it's yet another film with a creepy, unpredictable serial killer who tortures all his victims in unique ways. I get it already. If I wanted to watch a movie based on my life, I'd just view the CCTV footage, thank you very much. But without spoiling anything, Long Legs is not your usual serial killer movie. You will get to a point where you think you've figured out what's going on, only for the rug to be pulled completely out from underneath you. At least three times during the film, I thought to myself, this film is fucking nuts, I can't be the only one here who thinks so, right? There's no way it gets any more fucked up than this. Then the film proceeded to get even more fucked up, ending in quite possibly one of my favourite endings to any horror film I've seen. Nicolas Cage is either an actor you love or hate. At this point, I consider him to be nothing short of a genius, with a range larger than practically any other actor out there I can think of. He's predictably phenomenal in Long Legs, although I will admit to giggling to myself every time he began to sing. Still, it thankfully wasn't nearly as cringy as whatever the fuck this was from the Batman. We did 20 ticks, and that was the best one. The film is also beautifully shot, with incredible cinematography throughout. That means I thought the film looked nice. And while Long Legs was quite lengthy, I wasn't bored for a single second of it. That being said, I don't know how eager I would be to rewatch it. I kind of feel like I got everything I wanted from the film in a single viewing, and I'm not sure Long Legs really benefits from repeat viewings the way other horror films would. I'm also glad to see that audiences are really enjoying the film too. Although I have seen several people complain that they didn't find the film scary enough. I guess for some people, if a monster isn't jumping out and screaming boo at the viewer every 5 minutes, it just isn't a horror film. I think people need to understand that not every horror film is trying to get a visceral reaction out of the viewer. Some films want you to feel uneasy after viewing them, or to ponder what everything meant and what message the film was trying to portray. Hell, even my favourite horror film of all time, Don't Look Now, doesn't really have a single jump scare in its entire runtime, yet it scarred me for fucking life. Is Long Legs the scariest film ever made? Not even close. Will it make you feel uncomfortable and disturbed at any point? Absolutely. Go in not expecting a traditional horror film, and I think you will have a great time. Long Legs is a wonderful film, and has made me excited to see what this director does next.